Okay, so it's that time again where I have to do another bar review for something that could taste truly amazing or truly fucking terrible. I have very little hope. Very little prayers are needed because I'm not looking forward to it anymore. I am actually a person now who suffers from PTSD from fucking health bars. It's ridiculous. So, thanks to Wolf <laughs> over in Australia for picking this next one. You motherfucker. He's picked it from the Misfits box selection and he went for dark chocolate raspberry. Now then, dark chocolate is a fucking dodgy bag anyway because sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're really bad. Here is the bar in question. It's just, it's just a bar I can't smell through that. I don't have superpowers. But yeah, so we're going to try this. It's 100% vegan. This is not a selling point. This is anything but a selling point. Vegan equals terror. Horror. It literally could taste of dust and ant feces. With a slight strawberry flavouring. But I'm getting really depressed before I even try it. So, as you can see, <laughs> I don't want to do it. And we're opening a... Now that immediately you're greeted with the lovely turd-like visage, you know, still imagine it popping up and down in the swimming pool somewhere, scaring the children, because it's lumpy and bumpy, and that's what you expect in a comedy show. Not in your food. But first... Okay, I don't know how relevant this is to people in other countries, but it smells like the raspberry-flavoured... Syrup chocolate you get in roses. Very strong. Very pungent. Very sugary. Even though there's no sugar in it, so I know it's lying to me already. Okay. We're going in. The chocolate tastes waxy on the lick. I don't think this is doing me any favours. So as Frost would say, because I know he's sat there thinking it, just stick it in your mouth. That wasn't a bad idea. Oh. The tart taste of the chocolate is definitely a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, good, I've got coffee. Um, no. Uh. <laughs> it's very bitter. Uh. Oh. Oh. I need to scrape my tongue off with wallpaper paste. Anything to taste better. I'm looking around for a battery to fucking lick. At least I can kill my taste buds. I ain't finishing that. No. Oh, it's in between all my teeth. Focus. Calm. Right, the overall bar itself has got a very, <laughs> very pungent scent of oh, raspberries. It does smell very nice. The chocolate itself is definitely dark. Like my soul, there is no sweetness to the chocolate. Zero. It's like, yeah, we're going to be dark. We're going to be Bourneville dark. And then it literally just is. If you like bitter, dark chocolate, you're in for a good time. If, like me, you want your chocolate dairy milk and sweet and sugary, you're in for a bad time. Like being dragged behind the back of a farmer's market cart with your balls bouncing off every single fucking stone in the ground beneath you. You're literally going to have a bad time. Unless you're a sadist and then you're just back to having a good time again. But that's not me. It sticks and lingers between your teeth. 
with the pleasure of nothing. It's not invited and it won't get out. It's like a guest that comes to the party you didn't invite and won't even leave when you kick him in the nuts. Definitely a 3 out of 10 because the bar is set so low thanks to the Huel bars. Misfit could literally rip my anus and it still wouldn't be as bad as Huel. And I mean on the way out, we're not talking about gay jokes here. Calm down, snowflakes. My god, they're all running for the pitchforks and the fire. I could hear them in the background. Yeah, so it's not a great chocolate bar. It's not one I'd order. I'm still digging it out of my teeth. So, right. I guess, yeah, 3 out of 10. Thanks for the taste sensation there, Wolf. And still left to play, we have got... Chocolate caramel, white chocolate salted peanuts, and chocolate peanuts inside the Misfit bag. Then inside Tribe, because that is another one people can pick from. Nobody's picked from this one yet, so I haven't had to try these. I haven't tried the Tribe. <laughs> Shut up, it's a bad joke. We have chocolate maple, chocolate raspberry, and chocolate peanut. The selection in the Tribe is pretty lax, to be totally honest. And in two more days, we will have a assortment from Grenade turning up. The Misfit ones, in case anyone was wondering, was £15 on Amazon for an assorted box of 12. Same as the Tribe. They're on offer at the moment. I know why they're on offer. So, by all means, go and grab them, try them. Leave a comment down below. And it's nice that everyone watches the videos. I appreciate it greatly. They're posted to three different places. I do go through and I check every one of the comments afterwards to find what I'm supposed to eat next. Yes, you two could be responsible for the faces I pull. And the fact that it's still stuck in the back of my throat. Mm. Anyway. What the fuck was that? It's not important. I'll catch you next time with the next video. Leave a comment, then tomorrow's video could be yours, fuckers. <laughs>